Okay, another unboxing time. Asus ROG sent us over two new boxes to check out for this video and for an upcoming video series. The first one is this one, which I won't be getting into for this video. It is the Tough Gaming Capture Box CU 4K30. Uh, this is going to come in handy in a series of upcoming videos, especially when it comes to this laptop, the Zephyrus Duo 2023. Anyways, the main thing to check out for this video is this one. This is the ROG Azoth. Azoth? 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 I'm going with Azoth. A pretty badass mechanical keyboard. It's from ROG and it promises a lot of things. You get all of the gaming features that comes with gaming keyboards, but you also get the flexibility of like DIY build-it-yourself mechanical custom keyboards. This was released a few months ago. This is the first time it came to my desk. So this is the first time I'm going to try it out. A little backstory just so the gamers out there understand like the value proposition of the ROG Azoth is long ago, mechanical keyboards mainly went into the mainstream because of gaming brands. I remember Thermaltake releasing one of the very first mechanical gaming keyboards, Razer with their Black Widow, Logitech with the G7 something, G710. Those were the very first few times that you could get a mechanical keyboard in the mainstream that was pre-built kind of like a complete mechanical keyboard experience. Back then, custom keyboard manufacturers or custom keyboard boutiques didn't actually exist. The problem with that generation was, back then, the gaming brands that made mechanical keyboards really didn't like you customizing their mechanical keyboards. They went through all of these hoops just to make sure that you didn't mess with the design of their mechanical keyboard. All of them came with non-standard bottom row. Some of them PC mounted the RGB LED after they put the switch in so you have to desolder the RGB LED thing before you can desolder the switch. Anyway, the gaming brands back then, especially Razer, really hated the idea that you would customize your own mechanical keyboard. That's why I call them out on their bullshit. Every time they say, oh, we're, we've always been uh, very heavily into gamers customizing their like peripherals from Razer. Yeah, bullshit. No, I had the Black Widow X Chroma. You can't really do much with that. Now, ROG is taking a different approach. This is kind of like the apology letter. It has pre-lube switches from the factory. It has PBT double shot keycaps. Pretty cool. It has the new ROG NX mechanical switches. It supports Asus Aura Sync. It has Speed Nova Wireless, so it's a wireless mechanical keyboard. It supports 2.4 gigahertz and Bluetooth connections. And yeah, it's a QWERTY layout. And it's a standard bottom row, as we can see in the photo. I don't think it will be very clear here, but yeah. Story time is over. Let's see this 75% mechanical keyboard. We get the keyboard. We get the warranty card. Stickers. Oh, I love ROG stickers. Look at these stickers. Sticker number one, two. And we have a little note here. Welcome to the Republic of Gamers. And we have a little like uh, manual. Okay, this is something that even like custom keyboard manufacturers or custom keyboard brands of today don't include with the packages in their keyboards. Yeah, look, it's an entire like maintenance kit or customization kit for the ROG Azoth. So it comes with three pieces of extra NX switches. These are in red. Oh, these are in red. They feel pretty good out of the box. You can definitely say that it was lubed out of the factory. It's kind, it's kind of like a lubing station. You can put your switches on here. So you can mount your switches here while you're working on them. So you don't have any problem keeping them organized. I wish it came with stands or something. Keycap puller over here. This is plastic. This one, switch puller, a keycap opener. If you want to open up your switch, you just put it there, press down on it. Yeah. Then it opens up your switch for you. Pretty okay. This is pretty useful. The next one we have is a brush. It's pretty frayed, but it's supposed to be a lubing brush. It's still covered, but anyway, it comes with lube. Switch lube. I think this is a 205. Then we have the dongle like connector. This is where you connect the dongle for the keyboard, and this is where you connect the cable going to your PC. Anyway, it has like a clip on the side, so you can clip it on your mouse pad. Pretty nice. Then we have a really long cable. That's a pretty complete like package. 
this really keys you in that this is not a cheap keyboard to buy as is with most ROG products. ROG products are really expensive, but as you can see, you're not being cheaped out on. Anyways, this is the ROG Azoth. Looky here. Yeah, look at that. That's a pretty looking keyboard. It's a pretty keyboard. Okay, little bit of peel happening. A little bit of peel happening here. Oh my God. Oh, there we go. So yeah, let's take you on a tour. So it's basically a 10 keyless keyboard. One thing to note here is that it has a little OLED screen here at the top. It's going to show you, it's definitely customizable through the Armory Crate app. And you can put stuff on here like your custom logo, or you can scroll through the different like functionalities with this. Uh, this is not a dial. Technically, it's kind of like a rocker switch, so you can rock it up or down, then you can press on it like a middle mouse key, or you can press here at the side to change the functionality. Yeah, pretty nice feeling. Uh, PBT keycaps. They are two-tone keycaps. These ones are black. These ones are gray, a very dark gray. And the keyboard has this like really solid, really heavy feeling uh, metal uh, top housing. Uh, flip over to the back. We can see that the keyboard has uh, adjustable height feet. I love these things. I really hate it when custom keyboards don't include like height adjustment, uh, especially when I have to resort like putting uh, door stops at the underside of my custom mechanical keyboards just so that I can type at a comfortable typing angle. Why do I do that? Because I have big hands. I have big hands, so I have to type at an angle. If I don't type at an angle, I risk getting, uh, what do you call that? A uh, carpal tunnel? The carpal tunnel of love. Anyway, so yeah, this has three heights. It has flat, it has maximum height, and it has half height. Uh, from here, we can see the storage for the dongle on the keyboard, then the switch to turn it on and off. All right. All right, first turn on of the ROG Azoth, and it's kind of like boot looping on me. I think this is just freaking out because I didn't uh, plug in the dongle to anything. So before we go into the typing test, let's go into like the different features of this OLED screen. We have like a little battery icon here at the left side, a plus and minus here at the right side. Right now it's controlling uh, RGB brightness. Okay. If you press the switch here, it's going to turn it off. That's a quick turn off right there. Then if you press the button on the side, it's going to switch to OLED brightness. So you, yeah, you can control the brightness of the OLED screen. Okay. You can basically turn it off like low brightness, high brightness. Then we have lighting effect. Oh, I can change the lighting effect from here. Reactive typing, I think. I can't see it like clearly from <laughs> from the the monitor. But anyways, yeah, you can scroll through lighting effects here. Okay. Then press it again. We have volume adjustment, so you can adjust the volume with your stuff. Then we have multimedia controls. So I'm assuming if you press in the middle, it's gonna play pause. And if you press up and down, it's gonna change the volume. Oh, if you press up, it's going to select the previous track. And if you press down, it's going to select the next track. I think you can program more functions in this with Armory Crate, but yeah, we're gonna check that out in the full review. Uh, this is not a laptop, so it's going to take me uh, way faster to review this. Usually my laptop reviews last from two weeks to three weeks. This one I can probably review in like less than, less than a week. So yeah, you, you, you're not going to have to wait around too long for that. So let's have a little sound typing test against my RK61. So just to give you a little background, while this RK61 is kind of dirty, it is my main keyboard and I've modded the absolute hell out of this. So it is filled with foam and some uh, uh, weight additions. Uh, I've replaced the switches with uh, Kang Whites, with KTT Kang White V3s. And yeah, all of these are lube. 
and I've replaced the stabilizer. So yeah, it is really, really customized and I really like the sound of these. I really love the sound that I have been able to get out of this RK61. Okay, let's get to the Azoth. It is a much more higher pitched uh, sound register compared to my RK61. So let's put it side by side. This is my RK61. This is the ROG Azoth. It's more of like a different register. Very high pitched. Oh, the PBT keycaps feel so good. Oh. The, the space bar sounds kind of funky. Oh. Space bar feels a little bit funky and I probably would replace this switch. It feels slow to rebound. Probably needs a stronger switch. The other long keys don't have the problem that I have with the space bar. Yeah, this is the enter key. And this is the space bar. The space bar is a bit horrible, but everything else feels pretty nice. So yeah, that's everything about the ROG Azoth. If you feel that I overlooked a few details about the ROG Azoth, don't worry, I will be conducting a full review of this. This is mainly just a quick unboxing, just to show you guys, oh, I have it in my hands now and I can review it. So yeah, if you have any questions about this product, please leave them down in the comment section. I will do my best to answer them in my full review. And yeah, stay tuned to the channel if you want to watch more tech and tech adjacent content. That's it. I'm Kevin Evangelista. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'm going to use this to play Battlefield 2042. It's double XP weekend. Hmm. <laughs>